Alright, so here's the male model. This um, lining that you see here, this is all the peritoneum of the abdominal cavity. And the peritoneum, you can see, comes up and it goes over the bladder. So the bladder is considered a retroperitoneal organ because it's only covered on top of the peritoneum. You can see it's exposed um, inferiorly. Um, if we go up here, so we can see that this is the ureter. So we have coming from the kidney. So this is the ureter coming down and leading towards the bladder. And if we want to look at the um, bladder here on this posterior surface of the bladder, there's the ureter, the other ureter coming in. Here is a seminal gland, and this is the prostate gland. And this structure here is the ductus deferens, or vas deferens. So this one will um, go down, it leaves the abdominal cavity through the spermatic cord. And the spermatic cord is a structure that contains the ductus deferens, testicular artery, testicular vein, and it all should, should have a nerve supply going in here, but doesn't show it on the model. Okay, so you follow the ductus deferens down. We are in the scrotum. So here's this um, scrotum. Here is the testicle. Here is the epididymis that is on top of the testicle. So here is the head of the epididymis and the body. The tail would be the most inferior portion, which I think it should be a little bit lower, but we can see the head and the body. And so the sperm production is made in the seminal seminiferous tubules of the testicle, and they're stored and mat matured in the epididymis. And then during ejaculation, basically, they move up this ductus deferens. So as it comes up the ductus deferens, it'll pick up secretions from the seminal gland and prostate gland, um, which can make up the semen, and then it'll come out um, of the body. Um, other structures from this piece, so if we look at the penis, this is the root of the penis, which is next to the abdominal cavity, the body of the penis, and then this is the glans penis. So the glans penis here, uh, it shows you an uncircumcised view. This skin that comes down over it, if we take this piece off, this piece uh, shows you the glans penis, but there's skin. So this is called the prepuce, and that is an uncircumcised penis. Okay, so um, if we stay here, we can see that we have the glans penis. So the penis has two different kinds of tissue in it. This is the corpus uh, cavernosum, and then we have the internal or the smaller uh, corpus spongiosum. So the, uh, the urethra that runs through that spongiosum is called the spongy urethra. Um, as we, let's look at the bladder and work our way down there. So here's the bladder, and you can see that the muscle of the bladder, it's called the detrusor muscle. The bladder has rubae inside. Um, here is the first part of the urethra, so this is the prostate gland, okay, so this portion of the urethra is called the prostatic urethra, and if you look, the next portion of the urethra runs through a little muscle, so this muscle is called the urogenital diaphragm, and the urethra that runs through it is called the membranous urethra, and then we pass through that, and then we, then we get to that corpus spongiosum, so we're in the spongy urethra all the way out. There's a really small structure embedded in the uh, urogenital diaphragm, which is a circle here. It's not the greatest, but this uh, indicates the bulbo-urethral gland, which uh, creates pre-ejaculate. And if you look up here in the prostate, we have uh, this offshoot here. So this little uh, branch is called the ejaculatory duct, and that's where the sperm will come in from the um, ductus deferens meet the seminal gland and then pick up secretions from the prostate and then come down and the ejaculatory duct will then meet with the prostatic urethra okay so in the man in the male uh, the urinary system and the reproductive system overlap here and then we'll just move the semen out ejaculation out okay and uh, when we look at the opened scrotum we can see the wall of the scrotum Oh, I'm sorry, the skin, and then there's this uh, muscle that you can see, and that's the cremaster muscle. So the cremaster muscle, remember, it's the uh, extension of the internal oblique, and it acts to raise or lower the testicles. Um, if we just look over here, we can see that this is the rectum. This is the anus, right, the anal canal, sort of the inferior part of the rectum. And then up here, we have a portion of the sigmoid colon, and that's it for the males.